Yo, what is happening ladies and gentlemen? I hope you are all keeping incredible. We are once again in beautiful Dublin, Ireland as you can see and last week we learned the spinning dump truck. This week we're going to learn the front wheel version of that which is the spinning car cruiser. I have already covered the car cruiser in a video about a year ago so I'm not going to cover it extensively like really in depth on how to learn it I'm just going to cover the basics and then go straight on to spinning and turbines you can check out my how to car cruiser down in the description and um, that'll give you some more tips if you're only learning the car cruiser if you can't even roll it yet then go down to the video in the description and that will be a better video for you to start with rather than this video but when you learn it come back to this video and then learn how to spin it also I apologize for the music there's like a boat right there I just hope the I just hope the music isn't copyrighted. So the car cruiser is a pretty basic trick. It's literally going to be your first front wheel rolling tricks, more than likely either this or the steamroller. If it's going to be the car cruiser, you're going to pick the side of the bike which you're going to be on. Bobby Carter said in his how-to that right-handed people tend to be on the left side of the bike. But as I've said in my past video, I have friends who are right-handed but ride on the right side of the bike, so I don't know how true that is. Figure out which side is comfortable for you. That's going to be the side that you're going to stay on for car cruisers, hitchhikers, and any trick that's similar to this. So get really comfortable at the car cruiser. Get comfortable going fast, slow, wide, narrow circles. Just get like really confident with this trick. You're going to need the confidence doing this trick any and all ways because spinning it is taking it to the next level. It is very scary the first time you try to lean the front wheel as much as you need to in order to spin. And it's going to take a while to get used to that position. But what I found helped me is when I was looking at pictures of people doing the spinning car cruiser, I noticed that it's kind of the opposite of the spinning steamroller. So with a ste spinning steamroller, you're going to be like this. And the front wheel leans down to the floor quite a bit. I'm not sure if you can see that. It leans down to the floor quite a bit, almost touches the ground. So when you're in a spinning car cruiser, you're going to want to kind of imitate that and lean the front wheel just as much as a spinning steamroller. But first things first, of course, roll in a straight line, scoop the back peg up with your foot, kind of like uh, when you scoop your pedal up during a bunny hop, you would scoop the back peg up and push forward with your hands on the bars, just like a hang five or yeah like hang five just push forward to get the back wheel up the moment that your back wheel leaves the floor take your hand off the outside grip of your bars and bring it straight to the seat you don't want to uh, wait too long until you do this because the frame will want to swing around into a steamroller or a whiplash so make sure the moment it pops up your hand leaves the bars and goes straight onto the seat <laughs> So again, think about how much you lean the front wheel during a spinning steamroller. That's exactly what you're going to want to do here. So it is going to feel very scary and very sketchy at first, but you'll get used to it the more you practice it. Just commit to this trick. That's the most important thing. I've put it off for years, but this winter, because I couldn't practice many new tricks because of the wet weather and just not good conditions, I just tried it and I kept trying it, kept at it, just didn't give up. You got to commit to these tricks and eventually you'll feel it out you'll feel the position that you need to get to and it'll become easier and easier with every day that you try it the very next step lean the front wheel if you've done spinning tricks in the past you'll know the point at which you uh, change into a spinning momentum if you have not done it in the past this is your first spinning trick i'd recommend learning a different spinning trick first in order to feel it out but you can learn this trick as a standalone trick on its own. You don't need to learn any other tricks except, of course, the rolling cow cruiser. But when you carve into a really narrow circle, there will come a point where you'll feel that the front wheel will either want to go backwards or you'll want to go into a spin when you bring your leg in. So when you get to that point, you have to feel it out. You, I can't really explain it well. You just have to feel out when that point comes. Um, I recommend trying rocket manual spins first as they are a lot easier to bail from and kind of figuring out how to spin on a bike on one wheel and then going on to car cruiser spins if it is the first spinning trick that you're trying to learn and by trying it and trying it eventually you will get into that position that will allow you to change momentum from rolling it into a circle and just spinning The very 
next step just get comfortable again into the spinning pan cruiser position just put your knee up to your chest when you feel getting into that car and push your foot out by the front wheel and i noticed that it's kind of parallel to your frame when you do it get comfortable with this and when you find that you're okay with doing this now you're not scared of trying to get into this position anymore you want to pull the seat up towards your hip and pull on the bars. I find that it kind of helps if I grab the seat in the corner and put my thumb on top of it. And same thing with the bars. I put my thumb like on the back of the bar just to get a little bit more support when I'm holding it. So pull on the seat, pull on the bars, push your leg out by the front wheel and just hold on. You want to be really stable and hold on as hard as you can. It's a very hard position to stay in and control. However, the more you do it, as I said, the easier it'll get, just like any trick. It all feels impossible when you first start learning it, but with time, with practice, it becomes easy. Just practice, practice, practice. As I said, this trick is all about commitment. I put it off for years, and just recently I decided to learn it because I didn't have any other options with the wet weather. And just by trying it again and again and just not quitting, I eventually felt it out and you know it feels better now it doesn't feel impossible anymore because I know that I can do it I know how to do it my body and brain have figured out how to get into this position and how to hold on in order to spin the easiest way and probably the first way that you're going to land this trick is going to be just wait until you slow down and just let go of the seat let the frame and bike slam sideways onto the floor step on the pedals pick the bike up and roll away when you get more comfortable with this trick and you're, you know, you can spin and control it well. The second way is going to be you just controlling the back wheel and the seat and just letting it go down. Again, wait until you lose speed, until you stop spinning and just put the back wheel down on the floor, step on the pedal, step on the frame, just step on anything that you can in order to land this trick. The more you do it, again, the more you learn how to land it, the easier it'll get and the more dialed you'll be, you'll get it every try, no problem. So turbines, I find, aren't much different from the actual spin. Passing on some advice from Chris Boom, it's very similar to a time machine turbine in the way that you're going to rock your body. That's how you're going to change direction and change the momentum of the spin into a backwards and forwards momentum. You're going to kick up into a car cruiser, lean the front wheel. And the moment that you feel yourself going into that carve, that switch where you're going to go into either a spin or a turbine, pull your knee up just like you would to get into a spin, but push your hips further back away from the bike and to kind of pull a little bit more on the bars and the seats than you would when you get into a spin. You want the front wheel to change direction the moment that it goes into a carve. Just like a back wheel turbine, it kind of wants to do it on its own, but you have to help it a little bit with rocking your body. So, knee up, rock your body back, the bike will change direction, and then go back into a forwards momentum by pushing your foot out by the front wheel again, just like you would for a spin. Personally, I've only learned how to do two turbines so far, but it's a very similar concept no matter how many you do. The moment that you push your foot back out after the first turbine, you can do more by rocking your hips and pulling again, just getting into your backwards momentum and back into your forwards momentum. When you get good at this, you'll be able to do it as many times as you want. It's all about keeping the speed and keeping the momentum and transfer the energy from the initial carve into the rest of the turbines. I hope that made sense. So again, this one you will feel out with time and practice. However, do make sure to let go of the bike if you feel it going bad, as this trick is very easy to slip back or slip out of. So don't hold on to the bike, let the bike go and try to land on your feet. Learning how to fall is super important in BMX and every trick requires you to do it differently. 
but by learning how to fall correctly your reflexes will be able to you know catch on and kind of help you out with falling from new tricks and to land turbines you get into a spin after the turbine so it's the, exactly the same landing either let your bike fall if you're not that good at the spin yet or slam the back wheel down step on the frame pedal back wheel whatever you want step on the bars if you want do a marty quopa step on the stem just land this trick roll away and happy days new trick in the bag So I hope this how-to could help you. Personally, I couldn't find a how-to on this trick on the internet when I was learning it. I just messaged some riders and asked for some advice, but now hopefully the, this video will be able to help anyone wanting to learn this trick. So like, comment, share this video with, I don't know, your Dublin friends, uh, your sailor friends, your mom, your postman, your hamster, your Dalmatian. Just share this video with everyone. Again, let me know down in the comments what trick you'd like me to cover next in these videos and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!